Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald the Grim here and today we are going to go into a video that I didn't really want to make but uh, I get questions again and again on this topic and I want to make a video to clear things out and just to link to everybody that is asking. So the question that I'm so frequently asked is how to get a legendary character and that's exactly what we are going to do today. We are going to go over each legendary character in the game, we are going to talk about them and we are going to talk about the ways to get them. Keep in mind that uh, I am not a wizard and uh, this uh, will be, uh, most of the characters on this list will be still very hard to get, but there are a few things that you need to keep in mind when trying to get a legendary character because there are uh, uh, a few, you have a few options when it comes to how, how you want to achieve that and uh, over there, there is uh, always room for some improvement. Also keep in mind that I do not advise you go for legendary characters or try to get legendary characters. As a new player you might see them as flashy, you might see them as an instant win, you might see them like if I get this character I'm going to be the best in this game. No, this is not the case. In just two mobile legendary characters, uh, even though they are strong, they are not uh, necessarily the best characters in the entire game and they are not necessarily must have. So you can have a very very strong account without any legendary character uh, and uh, the best damage dealers in the game are not even legendary. So with all uh, that uh, in mind uh, you don't need to get legendary characters and I don't advise as a new player you try and get legendary characters. But nevertheless we will go over each one of them, I'll tell you where you can get them from and I'll tell you which is the most optimal way to do so. Also we'll talk about how to get their gears since that is uh, a pretty uh, interesting topic as well. So with all that being said, uh, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, comment down below for any additional questions that you might have, and let's get into it. Okay, so the first legendary character that we are going to be taking a look at will be Arkham Knight Batman. For those of you unfamiliar with this, he's going to be the first legendary character that was introduced into the game, and uh, he was for a long time the only legendary character that you could get. Uh, and let's take a look at his abilities. His Wayne tech will basically increase the defense and health of tech and the agility teammates. That also applies to him and he will also increase the uh, hazard and dot hazard damage for the team. His second ability multi fear takedown when he or a teammate is going to kill an opponent. That person will gain 3 bars of power and 30% health regenerated. His third ability free flow counter is going to stun for 5 seconds uh, a meta human uh, character when this is going to uh, use a special attack uh, and when he is interrupted he's also going to be stunned for five seconds. This is going to uh, occur three times per battle. The wheel kicks is going to deal some damage and automatically crit against stunned opponents. The second special is going to be stun bomb. It's going to stun a character for a duration of time and uh, a very important thing it has a chance to affect raid bosses. And his third ability will be Winged Adventure, uh, which will also deal a pretty decent amount uh, of damage uh, and uh, automatically crit on stunned opponents. So what is the role of this character? First of all, he's going to be a great character for Arena and Champions Arena because of the healing passives and because of the fact that he can easily buff up tech and uh, agility teammates. So especially for a new player, uh, he will help you out uh, using characters that uh, you have not built yet to a much higher extent. In terms of raids, he is a, mem a must-have member in uh, arguably the best raid team, coupled with uh, Entangling Poison Ivy and Heartbreaker Harlequin, because of the high fact that he is able to use Stun Bomb on raid bosses, and Heartbreaker Harlequin is going to deal increased damage uh, on uh, stun targets, so you are going to use him in order to stun the bosses and then, then tag in Heartbreaker Harlequin in order for her to deal the damage. And she will also benefit from uh, the Wayne Tech passive because she is an agility character. So, is this guy a must-have character? Well, no. He's not a must-have character. There are many other uh, raid teams and you can do well in Arena without him. So he is not a must-have character. You can uh, do pretty well without him, but how you get him if you are to get him? Well, first of all, uh, there will be the uh, chest uh, for uh, Arkham Knight Batman. Either the premium chest for Arkham Knight Batman, though I'm not uh, sure he's got one. Like, I think he's the only character that, don't, that doesn't have a specific premium chest, but he has the power-up chest, which has 
a chance to give you shards for him and that is not the most optimal way to get him never get the shards chest for this guy because of the fact that you have a much better way to try and get this guy yet again i don't advise anybody goes on legendary character hunts and tries to get legendary characters but this character will drop from uh, uh hero chests and uh, premium hero chests and you're going to be like well yes but the chance is uh, low and uh, you have a chance to drop so many characters from there and i'm like no uh, for those of you who don't know the, the hero chest and the premium hero chest will have a chance for a legendary character and the only two legendary characters that you can get from those two chests are going to be arkham knight batman and dark side the other legendary characters will not be available in the hero chest and premium chest and because of this fact uh, uh, that uh, out of the whole chance in a premium chest or in a hero chest to get a legendary character that uh, half of it is going to be a chance to get Arkham Knight Batman then in my opinion the most optimal way if you want to get specifically Arkham Knight Batman uh, is to open hero chests and premium chests because uh, uh, from the shard chest for example you'll get only around uh, two 100 shards for him uh, and uh, from the premium chest and hero chest will get uh, 450 shards for him and you will unlock him straight at four stars so that's the most optimal way to get uh, him in terms of his gears his gears will be uh, given to you for free once you unlock this character from the achievements and they also do drop in rates uh, in the higher tier rates and that's tier 6 i think above tier 6 you will have a chance to drop his gears in rates okay so this was all for this one is he a must ca have character no where to get him most optimally from from the hero and premium hero chest let's move on to the next one but at least this one has gears attached to it okay over here we have justice league superman who in my opinion is the second best uh, legendary character in the entire game might be the third in other people's opinion but uh, let's uh, go quickly over his abilities uh, he's going to have a uh, Batman vs Superman passive which will increase his attack for every Batman teammate or opponent or increase his health for every Wonder Woman teammate or opponent is going to have Do You Bleed which will increase the defense for Legendary and uh, Justice League teammates uh, at the same time he will have a terror passive called Protector which will uh, have a cooldown but uh, every time he's not on cooldown when a teammate is going to be hit with a special attack he will tag in, he will interrupt that special and most likely he will one shot the opponent. And in terms of his abilities, he's going to have uh, burning on his uh, third ability. Uh, his first ability is uh, not going uh, to do anything but neutralizing the negative effects that are on him. And his second ability is going to be the best uh, shield ability in the entire game. Because on top of uh, reflecting uh, some of the damage and blocking some most of the damage, it will also restore uh, health for every special blocked. So this is going to be a very great uh, ability so overall he's a great character he is uh, the best uh, defensive legendary character is going to be amazing in arena and champions arena in raids he will be decent i haven't seen anybody deal crazy damage with him but he can hold his own with the justice league team so he is going to be a pretty good addition to your roster is he a must have most definitely not you can do very fine without him but if you want to get him there are a few things to keep in mind First of all, you will not uh, get uh, his gears uh, once you unlock him, and there are a few ways to get his gears. First of all, there is the $10 way to get his gears uh, from the offer store, then there is uh, some uh, Just League Superman gear drop chest, which I don't recommend because it has uh, 10% or something close to 10% chance to get a gear, and that will be a random gear, so that is simply a very huge waste of gems, and also his gears have a very slim chance to drop uh, in rates above uh, tier 6, tier 7, and tier 8. So that is where you can get his gears, but, but uh, he has has great passives that affect uh, legendary characters and justice league characters and if you have other justice league characters you can easily use him without his gears as a good support character now let's get into how to get him i think he's got a platinum chest of his own and he's also got uh, a power up chest of his own where you can get some shards for him like uh, maximum up to 200 or something and uh, he's uh, also got uh, 
some places in some other chests but the most notable chest that we are going to talk about is going to be the chest uh, in which uh, you have uh, a chance above one percent to unlock him and that will be in the uh, chest where he is coupled with the justice league team that will be up for 500 gems uh, and in that chest you'll get a very good chance to unlock him and especially if that chest is on offer that chest was on offer in uh, back uh, when the memorial day offers were up if you are watching this video on release then you just missed it by a few days but usually the chest is uh, 500 gems but in my opinion it's going to be the best way to get him because uh, in terms of legend their characters 1% uh, above 1% is a pretty decent chance to get him in terms of legendary characters not in terms of common sense keep in mind but from that chest you can also drop from some very good characters as well so your gems will not be that used so if you want to unlock just like superman look for the 500 gems uh, just like chest which has a chance to drop him Overall, a great character, a great support character, pretty hard to get gears, but you can live without them, but yet again, not a must-have character. Batman Ninja Gorilla Grodd is going to be one of the best legendaries, uh, the third best in my opinion, in some other people's opinion, the second best. Uh, it's uh, yet again uh, up to a subjective point of view at this point uh, when it comes to nitpicking, but let's take a look at his abilities. Crippling Blow is going uh, to increase the damage on every fifth successful basic attack uh, and it will reduce uh, the damage uh, and defense of the enemy by 30% and this can be also uh, be applied by other Batman Ninja characters. Uh, the Dramatic Rehearsal will give him lethality and make him heal for uh, a, a percentage of the damage dealt when he falls above, uh, below 30% uh, health. The master plan is going to make him gain bears of powers uh, every time he lands an unblockable little attack. All those passive coupled up with each other make him a great combo builder uh, and he, he's basically a Dr. Fate and the classic Superman all in one while being also extremely tanky and having the possibility to heal. Haymaker is a pretty notable ability because will deal increased damage to blind opponent and, and uh, if you use him as a secondary damage dealer in a team with Batman Ninja Catwoman you can deal some pretty heavy damage with that spell uh, and uh, the second special ability is going to be an active shield not as good as superman's but still an active shield so you can't complain about it so overall he is a great character and he's basically to some extent a must-have character but uh, you are in a way in luck because he will be available in the challenges. Uh, he will have a challenge of his own where you can collect shards from for him and eventually unlock him. But unfortunately to farm that challenge you will need to have uh, League of Anarchy characters. He will also be available in some chests uh, but rather than going for his chests you should go for League of Anarchy characters in order to get him as well by having League of Anarchy characters. Uh, also keep in mind that his challenge, he, the fourth fight will be a little bit hard, so just having the League of Anarchy characters will not be enough, you'll also have to have them uh, leveled up and geared up a little bit in order to survive that, but he will be available in the challenges, and his gears will not drop from the challenges, yet again you can get them for $10 in the special offers, or uh, you can get very lucky in uh, tier 7 or tier 8 and drop his gears. But uh, you shouldn't buy any chests that has uh, Batman Gorilla Grodd for the purpose of getting Batman Ninja Gorilla Grodd because he will be available in the challenge and you can slowly farm him from there and this is a much better way than trying to go for any of the other chests uh, in which he is present. So for Batman Ninja Gorilla Grodd just farm the challenge. Is he a must have character? Well maybe, but you can get him for free more or less. The next one will be Brainiac, uh, which will uh, be available in a challenge. Let's take a look at his abilities and we'll get into that later. First of all, it's Force Field, which will put a cap on how much damage uh, you and your teammates can receive uh, from... Uh, a uh, single basic tag or swipe attack uh, basically mitigating the maximum amount of damage that can be dealt uh, uh, to you then is living metal which will give uh, a pretty decent amount of buff to buffs to the uh, legendary teammates of brainiac and this makes him a very good support character for legendary characters and uh, the second is going to be uh, 12th level intellect this will only be uh, uh, usable in uh, Arena and Champions Arena and basically when uh, an enemy tech opponent is going to die he will join uh, the battle by your side. This is not a particularly useful thing to have. 
and his abilities are going to be uh, basically a mix and match uh, of things that don't always work properly but the main thing you want him for is going to be the force field uh, and the living metal because those two abilities will make him a great support character for any legendary characters and he will be great uh, in the must have in uh, the same team with black manta which is another legendary character that we, uh, character that we are going to talk about later and they will make a very great damage dealing team in raids so you can get brainiac from the challenge for him and you can get his gears also from this challenge they drop a little bit harder but you will eventually get them so i don't suggest you go for any chest that has brainiac in it i don't suggest you buy any offers that have brainiac in it because you can just farm him from the challenge in order to complete the challenge if i'm not wrong you'll need to have batman ninja characters and uh, there are three batman ninja characters uh, in the arena available not the best ones of course but you can build them for the purpose of farming brainiac and you can eventually get brainiac is brainiac a must have character most definitely not but if you can get him from for free then go ahead and uh, get him gradually but most definitely don't try to get him in any other ways uh, other than the challenge because it's not worth it even for the purpose of speeding up the process because he's a great support for legendary characters but that's pretty much everything that's about him next legendary character we are taking a look at will be black manta and let's take a look at his uh, abilities. Open wounds will uh, apply a dot stat on the opponent after you or legendary allies will use a special ability on that. Uh, and the dot will also block the heal for uh, that character and the damage of the dot will be calculated out of Black Manta's attack. Uh, the revenge mission will you will gradually increase uh, the damage he deals with every single basic attack uh, and that will keep stacking and stacking up to 100 times uh, this makes him a very good raid character and black manta suit will give him plus 200 percent health uh, and uh, uh, additional damage reduction when blocking uh, and this ability will also uh, apply to uh, legendary allies uh, and uh, his abilities will be first, uh, the first one will slow the power generation, but that uh, stat is not important at all. The second one will inflict a burning effect that uh, will uh, have the defense of the enemy. And the third one will have a stun and most importantly have a chance to stun raid bosses. So out of the older legendary characters, uh, in terms of raids, Black Manta is going to be the best out of them in terms of the damage he can deal in raids. And she's going to be, he's going to be a very good damage dealer. Uh, and uh, a thing to keep in mind uh, is the fact that there are better damage dealers in the game and you don't have to have him in order to deal good damage uh, as a player in raids. But let's talk about where to get him from. Uh, you can get him from, unfortunately he's uh, in no better chests actually, but uh, he will have uh, his uh, own... Uh, Power up chest, I think, uh, is going to be the one where you have a chance to unlock uh, a certain amount of shards for him. Like you have a chance for uh, 50 shards, a chance for 100 shards, and the chest uh, for 200 shards. Uh, and unfortunately, that will be the most optimal way to unlock him, since that chest is no is known to go on sale pretty often. It will normally cost uh, like 500, I think, but it can go on sale for uh, as uh, low as between 300 and 400. So unfortunately, that is uh, the only way. Uh, you to get him in the most optimal way if you want to go for him yet again you don't have to have him uh, you can do just fine raids without him but if you want to go specifically for him then wait for his uh, power up chest and wait for it to be on uh, reduced price at the same time uh, he is one of the two characters on this list that won't even have his gears uh, in uh, raid drops in tier 7 and tier 8. The two options to get his gears are going to be the Black Manta gear chest, uh, which will have yet again somewhere around 10% chance uh, to get one random uh, piece of gear for him so you are better off buying them from the offers menu for ten dollars but yet again it is up to you and you don't have to have him and in my opinion he's the best legendary in the entire game but that's my subjective opinion the next legendary character that we are going to be taking a look at will be dark uh, he will have uh, a couple of good passives uh, the apocalypse bombardment will have a chance of firing e 
legitimately an area of damage bombardment uh, upon the enemy and that one thing will damage them while he's tagged out only this works uh, the second thing will be sacrifice are necessary uh, if he takes damage higher than 50% uh, of his max health uh, he will gain uh, a barrier that is going to absorb incoming damage for a specific duration uh, and uh, he is going to also absorb uh, uh, a certain amount of the attack and uh, health uh, that uh, of the targets that die in the match this applies to teammates this applies to enemies this applies to parademons and the parademon ability will only talk about the parademons that are going to be his third ability which will be summon summoning a parademon that is uh, a playable character that is going to play in the place of uh, dark side in the battlefield uh, and uh, after he this parademon dies you will consume him and get uh, additional attack and health also apocalypse bombardment can trigger while the parademon is uh, in the battle the omega effect will be an ability that has power drain and can be chained into kind of an infinite combo and his first ability will be armor piercing this character is going to be an amazing character for Arena and Champions Arena, but he's not going to perform very well in raids above tier 6, unfortunately. So, overall, this guy will be a pretty good legendary character, 5th or 4th best legendary character in my opinion, uh, but he is most definitely not worth uh, really trying hard to get, because, yes, he will make your progress much faster, but you can do everything that you do with Dark Side. you can do a little bit harder maybe with any other character in the entire game so is he a great character yes is he a fun character yes uh, should you try to specifically get him well not really and he will be one of those characters that you might get randomly by chance without even trying to get him because uh, as i have said previously he has a chance of dropping from the basic chests and premium chests and considering how expensive the platinum chests are and how low the chances there are too uh, yet again you are most likely to get him from uh, hero chests and premium hero chests because only him and arkham knight batman will drop from there and his gears thankfully will also be available through the achievements you'll get all of them uh, I think for it him is uh from achievements with level like uh, you get his gears as you level him up and when he's level 50 I think you get the last gear piece so overall a pretty good character a monster in terms of arena and champions arena and a very fun to play character but you don't have to have him and you can do fine without him the next legendary character that we are going to be taking a look at will be Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. And let's take a fast look at her abilities. The Suicide uh, Squad is going to be uh, an ability that will give uh, buffs to the other uh, Suicide Squad characters. And at the same time we will give uh, her power generation for every Harley Quinn teammate. We'll also give uh, health to Enchantress. We'll reduce uh, the Suicide Squad's uh, power bar cost for certain abilities. We'll grant uh, critical resistance. Uh, to teammates will make her immune to critical attacks yes 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 on paper a lot of things are wrote over here uh, psychoanalysis uh, will be basically a thing that uh, uh, will uh, st steal a random stat from the opponent uh, after tagging in that's all to it and twisted love will increase the attack of a teammate joker and at the same time will increase the stun and dodge resistance of joker and uh, uh, will grant dodge resistance uh, for team for teammates from opponent joker and uh, her abilities li like literally nothing special about it uh, other than a random effect that can be gotten from her first ability so overall she will be a good character to buff the suicide squad team but unless you have the suicide squad team he will she will be pretty much useless by her own and the suicide squad team will perform great in arena and champions arena but in terms of raids they are pretty useless well at least uh, as we have seen so far so is she a good legendary character? Not really. Not my favorite at the very least. Is she a must have? Not really. Not in my opinion. And how should you be at him? I haven't seen uh, many specific chests for her, but I think you have a decent uh, chance to get her when it comes to the Suicide Squad chests, because there are chests that have a chance to drop her, 
to drop Enchantress or to drop Suicide's uh, Squad Deadshot. Suicide's Squad Deadshot will be, of course, a wait since most people have and he's not hard to get. But the two of them, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad uh, Enchantress, will be at a pretty decent chance over there. And also uh, keep in mind that uh, I think you used to unlock her gears through an achievement, but after she was made a legendary, that's not a thing anymore. She does have raid drops uh, above tier 6, uh, but uh, yet again they will be very rare. And you can also get her gears from the uh, offers for 10 bucks, like the whole pack of gears at level 10. Also, I'm not sure if they have uh, put uh, a gearbox for uh, the Suicide Squad team. I'm not sure if they did yet, but even if they do, don't buy that. Gearboxes in the store are going to most likely be a ripoff. So try to avoid that. So overall, not a must-have character, but if you want to get her, go for the Suicide Squad chest when it appears back in the shop. Okay, over here we have Suicide Squad, Enchantress, and I'm not going to go in depth over her since she is still new and not many people have used her, so I can't really give a full opinion on her. From what I have seen, she is yet again pretty limited in terms of raids. Nobody, at least until this point, has managed to do any uh, recognizable uh, deeds with her in raids, so we will put the raid part for her on hold. She can be a great character when coupled with the Suicide Squad team, but she's only good at that and she will not perform so well for you if you don't have the full Suicide Squad team. She, she is very cool looking, she looks very fun to play and she's going to be amazing with the rest of the Suicide Squad team in terms of arena and the champions arena, but uh, other than that uh, she is not going to be a must have for you in no capacity keep in mind that she's not going to be so useful without the suicide squad team also keep in mind that she does not have uh, gear drops in raids so the only ways to get her gears are going to be through special offers with ten dollars or through that uh, gearbox for the suicide squad team which is more of an excuse so then they can say well you can unlock them in the game no you'll get very low chances so if you ever want her gears i suggest you buy the ten dollars uh offer because of the f just because of the fact it will take so much more for you to save up the gems uh, in order to eventually get the gears from the random gear drop chest then you would get uh, they need to take you to make ten dollars well it at the end of the day it is up to you yet again i don't recommend going for her since she is not a must-have character but if you are going to go for her then go for the suicide squad chest This was everything for this video, I wouldn't really have done this video if not uh, so many of you have requested it. So this is uh, all the legendary characters in the game, this is how to get them and this is how to get their gears. I have done my best to show you the most optimal way in every scenario, but before we end this video I want to stress out yet again that you don't need to get legendary characters and hunting for a legendary character is going to be the worst thing and the biggest mistake you can do as a new player. With all that being said, thank you very much for watching, for any additional questions feel free to comment down below, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, maybe turn on that bell button to not miss notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.